Hello guys, welcome back to She's Diabetic. Today I'm going to be unboxing and inserting for the very first time the Dexcom G6. So if you want to see that, stick around and let's make it happen. So this is the Dexcom G6. It is the newest iteration of Dexcom CGMs and it is no calibration needed, no finger sticks at all needed, which is obviously incredibly exciting and I'm really excited to start using it. I ordered the one month like starter pack, which is basically Dexcom's way of introducing you to the system. So you don't have to subscribe to a year or whatever. So in this starter pack, which I paid 159 pounds for, you get three sensors and one transmitter. And the transmitter lasts three months and then the sensors are a 10 day wear each. So that basically covers you for one month fully on the Dexcom G6 and then I guess you take it from there to see whether you like it and you wanna keep using it. So today I'm just really, really excited to unbox this bad boy. I've mostly been using the Freestyle Libre. I have used a couple Medtronic N-Light sensors when I first went onto my Medtronic 640G, which is the pump that I'm on, but I didn't have great luck with my N-Light sensors, which made me go over to the Libre. But the Libre is a flash glucose monitoring system, which I've talked about on my channel before, whereas the Dexcom G6, and I think all the Dexcoms, are proper CGMs, which means they're reading your interstitial fluid every five minutes and then pushing that information to your device. And what I'm gonna be using as my reader is my iPhone 7. So I don't have, and the starter pack does not come with the reader on its own. There is a separate reader that is just dedicated to the Dexcom system, but I have my phone. I'm always gonna have my phone on me practically, so I might as well use it. So here we go. I have already had a little sneak peek at the transmitter because that's the big thing. This G6 is smaller, slimmer, lower profile than the G5. And I have to say, this transmitter is just incredibly small. It's just tiny. It's just simply tiny. My dad has the Dexcom G5, so I've seen the G5 transmitter before, and to be honest, I thought that was pretty small. But this is even, even smaller, which is exciting to me because I'm just like, well, that's really gonna look like not anything under clothes, which is quite cool. Technology getting smaller, everything like that. Come on. Now another difference between the Dexcom G5 and the G6 is the whole insertion process. Now I've never used any Dexcom CGM before, so I can't speak to how it compares to the other insertion process, but I have seen my dad use the Dexcom G5 and that insertion process, and it was a little bit, just a little bit tricky, I thought, from watching it. Like you had to put the plunger down and then pull the collar up and then rock it off and everything. like. To, to keep to leave the sensor on your stomach, but to take the inserter off. It just looked a little bit complicated, so I'm not surprised that they've updated this insertion process, and I think that's a really good thing. So here we go. Wow. That is how the inserter, which already has the sensor in it, that's how it all comes packed. This is it. <laughs> I'm excited. Now this starter pack came with all sorts of like reading stuff and um, I mean I won't be reading that out loud on camera because good lord I mean how long is this video gonna be? I mean, uh... But yeah it's got like explanation of what it is and how you put it on. But as always you know me by now I just go with my instinct on things and hope for the best. I mean Relatively. This is life-saving technology we're talking about, so I mean, I'm not so willy-nilly, but you know what I mean. I've already downloaded the app, so I'm gonna bring the app up and follow the instructions. Just so you can see what I'm looking at, that is what it looks like. I've not got any sensor active, obviously. So I'm gonna click new sensor. Let's get this baby out. That just feels like futuristic. I don't know, it just does. Scanning it is very clever. I just scan code on sensor applicator. So that's my sensor paired. First things first, I'm going to clean the area. Just an alcohol swab here. 
nothing fancy, no skin tack, no nothing. And as with everything, I'm just doing exactly as it says. So I'm not going to utilize any skin tack or any other sort of adhesive helping solution. I'm going to go with what Dexcom says and follow the instructions to the letter and see what we got. So I'm going to pop it on the right side of my stomach, cleaning the area. Just coming in here real quick. I'm doing it on my stomach. That's where it's approved for. If you are from 2 to 17, you can do it on the upper buttock, but I'm not 2 to 17, <laughs> so I'm going for my stomach. And also you don't want to do it near your infusion set site. Mine's always on my leg, so stomach is not going to be a problem. It's far enough. So here we go. Taking the adhesive off. So now that adhesive is exposed. And by the way, they do say if you are going to use skin tack or something like that, that you do it just on the outside of where the adhesive is. You don't do it where the needle is actually going to penetrate because that could potentially affect your results. Here we go. Placement. Stick. Okay, I'm committed. No turning back now. Taking off the guard. So I've just removed the guard. So now the button is exposed. One, two, three, hope it doesn't hurt. Hello. Okay, let's just talk about this for a second. I did not feel that at all. Like that didn't even feel like anything. I'm quite amazed by that actually. Like, cause I know some people have said, oh, you feel it go in. And I'm sure it depends on the area that you're inserting and everything like that, but honestly, yeah, that, that felt like nothing. Like, I, it almost just felt like a tap. I didn't feel anything like, it didn't feel anything like an insertion of a needle at all. So you can see, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the transmitter. So I've swabbed the transmitter with an alcohol swab, which is what it told me to do, and now We're on. Wow. That's what Dex looks like. Okay, so we're back up to eye level. I have my sensor and my transmitter attached to it on my stomach. I just am amazed I didn't feel that insertion at all. Um, when I clipped in the transmitter, I did feel like something underneath the skin. It didn't feel painful, but it was just a feeling like, oh yeah, that's something there. Worth noting, just out of interest. So all I have to do now is activate. So I've gone into the app, I've clicked start sensor, and now I'm seeing this. On the Dexcom G6 in the UK, which is where I am, there is a two hour warm up process. So I've just started my warm up which means I am two hours away from getting my first Dexcom CGM readings G6. I'm so excited. Uh, I really hope it's accurate and it works for me. Like I've heard such, such wonderful things about this, but you know what works for one person may not work for another person. So I'm just really, really excited to try this process. What I'm planning on doing is I will in two hours come back to you with my first couple readings, just so you get an idea of what that interface looks like once it starts becoming populated with information. And then once I've completed the starter pack, which is one full month, I will come back to you and tell you about my overall experience of it. I'm gonna come back to you guys in two hours with my first readings and we'll see where we're at. I'm very, very, very excited and I'm very happy that didn't hurt. I'm really pleased that insertion process did not hurt. And we're back. It's been a little bit over two hours because I had to go out and meet a friend and attend a class. So far, I'm loving it. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not doing any more reviewing now because that's, it wouldn't be fair because it's just very, very, very early days. I'll show you the interface now. I have certainly tested out the alarms and they are working just fine and dandy. And the reason I've tested them is because, like I said, I went to that class, I had to get up and speak in front of people, and I got a little bit anxious, and my blood sugar skyrocketed. So this is real life with diabetes. I thought about not filming and waiting for it to come down, and then I'd show you like a pretty graph that isn't high. But then I was like, that's just not the type of diabetic YouTuber that I want to be. This is real life. And 
um, that's what I promise to give you. And what's more important is that this is real life and I'm aware of what's going on because of the CGM, which I think is very cool. So I'll bring up the graph so that you can see what it looks like. As you can see, this is yellow, which means your glucose is high and you set your different like rates as it were. And I've just gone for all the like rates that they suggested at the moment until I get to know the system a little bit better and can fine tune it. There you can see my line and that's what the alert looks like. So there we have it. I've now unboxed and inserted my very first Dexcom G6. Now I'm going to start my month on this pack and document bits along the way. I'll do finger sticks dotted throughout to compare what the Dexcom is saying to what my finger stick would be saying. And I'll make that video directly follow on from this video. So if you're watching this now, next Sunday's video will be my three weeks or one month on the Dexcom G6 review, thoughts, feelings, opinions. As always, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I've been interacting with you guys a bit more in like the comments because I've been getting a few more comments and like I have so enjoyed that. And I really appreciate all the support and feedback people have given to me. So please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out and I just love getting the feedback from you guys. Whether it's positive, negative, neutral or just you're just saying hi. I'm all for it. I'm really enjoying that. And I'm really enjoying like the camaraderie and the and the conversations that are happening in the comments section too. I think that's really important that we support one another and I love it. Yeah. So I'll see you guys next week for my one month on the G6 review. Thanks guys.